All right, right now what I'd like to do is demonstrate the brake test, which is the first part of your exam. I'll do the brake test and then I'll do an in-cab inspection. First, what I want to do is push the clutch in, make sure that my truck is in neutral and my brakes are set. I'll go ahead and start the engine. Once I've started the engine, I want to make sure that my ABS light turns on and turns off. And I also want to make sure that I have oil pressure, which I do. Now, what I'm going to do is release the clutch. I am sitting at 100 PSI as far as my air pressure goes. I want to go ahead and idle the engine up to about 1000 RPM to increase the air pressure. And I need to get the air pressure up to approximately 125 PSI and governor cutout. I'm going to go ahead and roll my window down so that that way I can make sure I don't hear any air leaks. I just heard my governor air, my governor cut out. That was the air release that we just heard. At this point now what I want to do is I don't want to touch my brake pedal because I want to have maximum air pressure. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put the truck into gear. I'm going to go ahead and shut the engine off. Once the engine is off, I'll let the clutch out. I'm gonna turn the ignition back to the on position. And then I'm gonna release both of my valves, my tractor and then my trailer. I have the truck in gear so that, that way the truck is not going to move. Now I'm gonna take out my timer. I need to time this, uh, this brake test for one, one minute. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna step on my brake pedal. I wanna allow my gauges to stabilize. And once they have stabilized, now I can go ahead, hold the brake pedal down firmly and start my timer for one minute. At this point, I'm listening outside the window to see if I hear any air leaks. I wanna make sure that I do not lose more than four pounds of pressure or PSI over this one minute time. I'm continuously watching my gauges to make sure that I don't lose any air pressure. Now that I've reached the one minute point, I can go ahead and stop my timer. I've released my brakes. And now what I'm gonna do, this is another important part. I wanna make sure that my low air pressure warning comes on. That should come on at approximately 60 PSI. I'm gonna fan the brakes down until I reach that low air pressure warning. At that point, on this particular truck, I'm gonna have two red lights that'll come on on my primary and my secondary air gauges. There's my primary, and there's my secondary. Both of them came on at approximately 60 PSI. At this point, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to fan, continue fanning the, fanning the brakes down to between 20 and 45 PSI. At that point, both of these valves will pop out. The valves will pop out and I cannot touch them. It has to be unassisted, right? I'm watching the valves. I want to make sure that I see both of them pop out. And both popped out at approximately 20 PSI. At this point, now what I need to do is take the truck out of gear, shift it into neutral, and then I need to start the truck. Now I'm gonna build air pressure back up to 125 PSI. I can assist that by bringing the engine RPMs up to about 1,000 RPM. So I've watched my air pressure. It has continued to climb. It is up to approximately, getting close to approximately 125 PSI. I should hear that governor cut out in just a moment. There was my governor cut out. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna test to make sure that my parking brakes are working. I'm gonna go ahead and put the truck in first gear. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna release the tractor brakes. I still have my trailer brakes applied. I have it in first gear. I'm gonna go ahead and let off of my brake pedal ease the clutch out and the truck should not move anywhere. Now I'm just going to reverse that process. I'll apply my trailer brakes, release my tractor brakes. 
Now I'm going to go ahead and give it a, let the clutch out again. And the truck did not move. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to drive the truck forward to approximately five miles per hour, at which point I'll push the clutch in and I'll step on the brake pedal and I'll make sure that my service brakes are in a good adjustment. It won't pull the steering wheel one way or the other. Ease the clutch out, pull forward in a straight line. I'm going to keep both hands on my steering wheel. There's five miles per hour. I'll push the clutch in and step on my brakes. And I noticed that my steering wheel did not pull one direction or the other, which would tell me that my service brakes are in good adjustment. Now that I've completed that, I can do my end cab inspection and I can refer back to my safety checklist to make sure that I conduct that correctly.